Hello, welcome back to your new lesson. In previous lesson, I had shown you how you can read a formatted data into MATLAB. In this lesson, I am going to show you how you can read a data line by line. So let me first create a sample data. I am going to create here sample data. Hello, how are you? And then I am going to put a semicolon here. I'll so you how you can read this file don't you think this is amazing right so i am going to save this file and then i'll show you how you can read this file line by line so one more thing i would like to uh, show you here while reading this uh, this uh, line by line uh, you know i have to store this with you know the new line which i had you know hit the enter after this comma so it came here the new line okay it has entered here new line here new line new line new line right so let's save this and uh, come back to the MATLAB. So in the MATLAB, let's close that. And here once again, I am going to create a new script. And I'm going to give a name to here, to this script. Read lines. The name of this script. Read lines. And in fact, uh, let, let's create a function in fact, not a script. So I, I'll change this into a function. So you can just do it, okay, with a function. Y is equal to uh, what I can do. Uh, I can also read this, and uh, I'm going to do the function i is equal to uh, lit count, okay. So lit count. Let count this function. Uh, one more thing I'll show you here. Uh, while uh, you we are working in this uh, code, I'll also show you. You can pass some, you know, the literal here, and it will try to get, it will try to match that literal into this file, and then finally it will print there that how many times that literal matches here. Suppose that if I pass the literal hello. And you will see that the hello is only passed one time then it will print that only one time and suppose that if i pass a literal u then you will see here the literal u is used here three times then it will print there three so i am going to you know use that matlab here uh, here uh, sorry uh, into a function right so y equal to the literal count that is lit count file name it will take file name and the literal type and then i am going to get a file id that is file identifier and then f open in the f open i am going to give a file name and the file name is let me see the file name is hello.txt it's hello.txt right and after that i am going to give here y is equal to the 0 for first time and after that i am going to count here the t lines so for first time it is going to get f get l and the f id so f get l get the line first line okay and it will get that line into t line and then i am going to perform here while operation so while operation will perform each car it will check whether this t line is correct or not right so if this t line is correct then it is going to get match right it is going to uh, you know the match that literal into that line that is the t line and then it will get that literal so let me explain you it one more time so in this line what it will do it will read in this line it will read the first line so it will read here the first line so this line will be read by this line 
and then it will check that if this line is valid line then it will go here at the line number 7 and then it will try to find out this literal into this T line okay into that line suppose that if you pass that literal U then it will try to find out whether U is present in that line or not now let's move to the next line here we have num num is equal to length and then matches after that if num is greater than 0 then it will say y is equal to y plus num then it will do f printf 1 then percent a percent s then again new line and then num and t line that means if it matches then it will print here for the first time that is you know one and after that it is actually not one this is y and after that this uh, you know num will be printed here total you know it will say that the total length of match and then it will print the line in which that num uh, that uh, you know the literal is matches right okay so this will be actually one after that I am going to end this if loop and then I am going to get t line is equal to f get l and then FID after that I am going to end that uh, while loop and then finally I am going to close the file which I had open previously so let's save this function and now let's call this function the function is lit count so let us call this function lit count in this lit count I am going to pass here hello.txt and then I am going to pass u so let's see how many u matches this says that this lit count okay this is undefined variable or the function so I have to see where I had stored uh, I, I have stored that lit count perhaps that lit count is stored somewhere else let's see this is not stored there and that file is not also stored there let's see where is this file is stored sorry this is uh, the file name is actually read lines so this is read lines okay I have to match this file name and the function name so this is read lines so just save this and now let's say here read lines so once you print here read lines it says that it has matches here right so it has matches here uh, hello.txt you I'll show you okay how you can read and don't you think this is amazing now suppose that if I pass here and and let's see so there is no n if I pass a right if I pass a then it says that there are 5a and those 5a are in these three 
lines so one in this line and the two in this line and two in this line now you can match it so one a here two a is here and two a is in this line in the similar way suppose that if i pass i then let's see there are seven i so first i is into the first line small i lowercase i and the two i into this line and four i into this line okay so in this video i have shown you how you can read a file line by line and then how you can perform a string matching in that red line so this is all about in this tutorial i am going to stop this lesson here please do not forget to subscribe this channel so that you can get updates directly into your inbox bye bye have a nice day